everyone on Facebook. Give us give us some questions. Give me some input. Give some shout outs. Let me know. I'll give you a, I'll give you a mention on the live podcast, the live broadcast here. This is Sam Maher coming out. And the interesting thing about Sam Maher, he is a professional stunt driver. Sounds like not a real thing, but he is a professional stunt car driver. He has a supercar clinic. You can Google it, supercar clinic. He does instruction. You can learn how to be a stunt driver yourself, some track driving skills. Simon Watts, what do you mean while we were watching? This is Elite Combat MMA. This is some of the best mixed martial arts in the country. How dare you, what are we watching? We're watching Simon Maher, who's had two boxing fights. He's got dynamite in his hands. He's going to come out for a KO, and he's also done a lot of Krav Maga. Now, Krav Maga is a martial art which is a lot of weapons and how to disarm rifles and stop swords and stuff. It's not overly applicable to mixed martial arts, but some of the hand-to-hand -hand stuff could be. And uh, if rumor has it, Sam Maher's boxing is dangerous. Stuart Scott watching. I want your comments on if Sam Mayer can box. He told me he can box, but you would know better than anyone. Alex Spencer. Alex is coming into this fight 0-2. So, lost two, yet to pick up a win. But he seemed very, very confident. Uh, he said he's open to winning in any way possible. Well, most of us are, but I appreciate that. And he describes himself as a grappler. So this could be a classic matchup. You've got Alex Spencer, the grappler, and then you have Sam Maher, the boxer. Grappler versus striker. Old school, UFC one style. Everyone on... Facebook is cheering for Sam. I'd like to point out, Sam asked me earlier if I could get this fight live on Facebook for him, and I promised I would, and I did for you, Sam. Now it's your, the pressure's on you now, buddy, to perform. A shout out to all of Sam's fa family and friends, supporters on Facebook. My name's Chris Benson. This is Elite Combat MMA, UK's, some of the UK's best amateur mixed martial arts action, brought to you by K-Star Fight Academy. I'm so excited about this. I love a striker versus grappler match. And uh, I kind of have my feelings on the fence about that because uh, I'm a karate black belt and a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. So I like to see a nice KO, like a couple of fights back, we saw a head kick KO in 14 seconds. But I also like to see a little bit of grappling, maybe a submission. You never know what you're going to get with these savages. Facebook, please share the video so that as many people can see this as possible. And write some questions on there. I'll see if I can answer for them between rounds. Anything you want to know. Favorite color. We have Sam the Mayhem Mayor versus Alex the Grappler Spencer. Sam is in the blackboard shorts. Alex in the grey Valley Tudor shorts. It's very distracting when your mother's texting you when you're trying to watch a cage fight. If Facebook has anything to go out, Sam is very popular. <laughs> Oh, the crowd is fired up for this one. This is Elite Combat MMA. Who's going to come out strong? Oh, Alex with a big leg kick straight away. Sam with a leg kick of his own, but Alex looked for the takedown. We said this could be striker versus grappler. Probably Sam Mayer wants to defend this takedown and get back to his boxing. Oh, but Alex Spencer with an aggressive takedown. Just plucked the legs out from underneath him. Sam looking very composed, not panicking, but Alex has done a good job of passing the side control. Controlled those legs, stood, moved his left leg around, get into this dominant position. We want to see Sam Mayer maybe trying to use the cage to get back up to his feet. Alex Spencer looks like he's just in jiu-jitsu mode, not, not looking for any grappling, uh, <laughs> any ground and pound. 
just sticking to the grappling and the wrestling. But Sam Mayher back to his feet. But he needs to be able to separate and get off this cage. He hasn't taken any damage. Got taken down, got back to his feet. It's very even. But this is clearly Alex Spencer is showing his game plan early on. Once again, just pulls those legs out from underneath and drags him back to the mat. We saw this with Khabib versus Conor McGregor a few weeks ago. Sometimes the grappler can just smother you like a big wet blanket. Oh, oh, he almost got back to his feet, but Alex Spencer just drove straight back in. Alex is being very, I'm very impressed with Alex's grappling. He's very composed and patient. Just slowly trying to work for a better position. He's showing good martial arts skills, good wrestling, dragging him down to the mat repeatedly. Sam is constantly trying to get back to his feet, back to that boxing that he knows so well. Will the stunt, stunt car driver, the stunt man extraordinaire, be able to get this bad spot? Alex Spencer's athleticism, strength, and technique as well, pulling those legs out. It can be exhausting for Sam Mayer. Oh, nice knee up the middle from Alex Spencer. Probably the first strike we've seen. And Sam Mayer's covered up straight away. I don't know if that knee caught him, maybe in the body. Hurt him a little bit. Oh, he's turned him around. Oh, but Alex is so strong. What Sam Mayer needs to do is get underhook. So he needs to dig his right arm underneath the armpit. So he's got a wizard where he's got his arm wrapped over. He needs to make a bit of space and get two underhooks. Then he'll be in a stronger position to move the fight around. Alex Spencer, he's dominating this fight, but he's not doing much in the way of damage. A few knees on the ground. He wasn't looking for ground and pound. He was maybe trying to transition. But Sam Mayer can't, can't do anything to shake him off. Shout out to everyone on Facebook. Please share the video. Oh, now we're seeing Alex Spencer get a little bit more aggressive. Oh, round one over. Now, how much did all that... Wow, who's going to be the more tired from that? I mean, Alex Spencer, he was pushing, constantly driving, looking for that takedown, trying to hold him down. But Sam Mayer, sometimes defending grappling can be so exhausting. It looks like nothing is happening. But both guys are using 100% of their force to press into each other, and it's just cancelling each other out. And that's when you end up with just holding against the cage and not a lot happening. It can be an issue when you have a gym that doesn't have a lot of a cage or cage panels to drill on. It's one of the biggest weaknesses I see in amateur mixed martial arts is just that. It's a whole martial arts on its, a martial art on its own is cage craft. It's like a weird little sport that's grown because of MMA. Because you can be an amazing wrestler, but you've got to know how to deal with someone where they can prop themselves up against the cage. You've got to know how to take someone down when their legs are spread wide against the cage. And you've got to know how to reverse when someone's driving you into the cage. And that's a whole, a whole different ball game than normal wrestling or normal jiu-jitsu. And you're seeing it in the UFC with the lights of Khabib. If you can be a specialist at that, it means you can, you can smash the lights of Conor McGregor. Simon Watts, I can't give a prediction. Got to be impartial. Oh, Sam Mayher probably wants to keep his distance, get these strikes going. Didn't have the opportunity in round one. Switching starts a lot. Oh, nice body kick from Sam Mayer. Alex Spencer looking a bit desperate off of that. Oh, Alex Spencer did not like taking that leg kick. Are we seeing a comeback from Sam Mayer? He definitely lost round one, but he did enough not to take any damage. It's going to be interesting to see out of these two fighters, who's got the better cardio. Oh, nice right hook from Alex Spencer. Alex Spencer does hang his chin out a little bit. Got to be careful. Let's just see Sam Mayer throw some more straight shots down the pipe. Very intelligent from Alex Spencer. He got caught a couple of times in those striking exchanges, went back to what worked in round one. I know, Stuart Scott. I'd like to see some striking as well. well I'm a jiu-jitsu black belt and I'd like to see some striking. People are telling me how good Sam's boxing is. and I, can't, I haven't had the opportunity to see it. This is the problem with MMA. Sometimes you can have a really good boxer and they just can't let their hands go to throw because they're so wary of being taken down. And now he's in a lot of trouble. Alex Spencer has stepped over to mount. 
looking for ground and pound. From what we've seen of Alex Spencer, I think he's going to look for a submission. I think this ground and pound is possibly just to set up and take an arm, look for a finish. Oh, Sam Maher needs to work on his grappling escapes. Needs to do some more bridging. I think he tapped out. He definitely tapped out. He tapped again. It's all over. Ground and pound victory for Alex Spencer. Tap out due to strikes. Shout out to Ben Babington watching online on Facebook, owner of ZKS Martial Arts. We just saw Alex Spencer win by ground and pound, Mr. Babington, and it was impressive. I know, get up, Sam. He did a good job. The problem is, I do, people are like, oh, you tapped out due to ground and pound. I think he hurt his rib earlier in the fight, and he's uh, maybe one of those kicks or the, the takedown. He busted a rib. And also, if you don't know your, your mount escape isn't on point, you're just stuck there getting hit in the head. You know, even if you're getting hit in the head, but you know what to do, you can slowly work to your escape. But it's, uh, you know, if you just feel like you're completely stuck, nothing wrong with tapping out. Fight another day. Let's give it up for 